Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we get a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates that we must cover, even though you probably saw them already. I know it's been a few, actually two days since I made a video, I haven't made anything during the weekend, and I apologize for that, that's because there was this sort of selection over here in Serbia for the world championships, and I had a couple of clients, a couple of friends doing that, so I had to help them, I wasn't able to make videos, and by the way guys, if you happen to be looking for a coach who is very available, who is not that expensive who is very affordable actually for you you can hire me just dm me on instagram i can help you just you know getting in shape or like putting on muscle or if you want to compete i can help you with that and like if you are close by i can go with you at your competition like travel with you help you over there monitor closely your peaking process help you with the tan and everything so if you guys again want a coach just dm me on instagram and we can talk about it Anyways, back to Samson Dauda, who's gonna be the first guy we're gonna talk about in this video. So, Samson posted a new physique update, another update of his back or his backside. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, no matter who you are, the Mr. Olympia, if you see this, you have to be scared. You know, you have to be worried about Samson. You guys know that currently he is my favorite to win this show. I know a lot of people have Derek winning again, or Hardy winning this year, or even Andrew Jack or Nick Walker winning. Personally, I think it's gonna be Samson Dauda, but even if you don't agree with that, you gotta look at his physique update and think. Because at six weeks out, I don't know if I ever saw not only his lower body from behind, glutes and hamstrings, but like his back. I don't think it ever had this many detail, this much width, this kind of conditioning. And then also you gotta mention the conditioning in the glutes because that's basically the number one thing that was preventing him from placing higher so far. You know, his glutes were never dialed in and now at six weeks out, they're basically more shredded than they ever were. I mean, at least close to his best conditioning so far. All right, so let's check out this video. Let's look at it closely. So, I mean, he's basically saying that his conditioning right now, or at least even, or actually one week ago, was basically as good as the conditioning at the Arnold Classic Ohio. I mean, I wouldn't really agree with that. I mean, maybe now it's the same it was at the Arnold Classic, like at the stage. But even if it's not, like it's very close to it. It's basically there. And there are six more weeks to go. Now, as far as the back, I think he made improvements. I think his back is even better now than it was in the Arnold Classic. And the thing with Samson is basically, what are Samson's flaws? What's basically his one flaw that he has? I would say it would be his lats and maybe conditioning in the glutes. And that's it. Everything else, I mean, like shoulders, arms, chest, quads, hamstrings, even calves... I mean, like, uh, small waist, uh, symmetry, proportions, shape. He has all that going on for him. And one thing that, like, you have to notice about this guy as far as muscularity is, like, his lower body from behind. I mean, I don't think, like, Andrew Jack most certainly won't have legs this massive from behind. Not just the hamstrings, but, like, the leg size, the leg width, the way his quadriceps are popping out. And I would argue that, like, neither Hardy nor Derek have this much width in the, ba in, the, in the legs from behind, right? So that's something Samson has. So he's basically big and thick from every angle. From the side, he is super massive, super thick, super dense. And now from the back as well. I mean, again, his back is like his weak point, but would you call this back a weak back? <laughs> Come on, it's definitely not a weak back anymore. And yeah, of course, Derek's back is better, but I don't know about Hadi's back, I think they are very, very close. And with Samson's structure, like with his small waist and like tall stature and wide shoulders and like nothing is, nothing is touched. You know, you can't see any scintle like in the shoulders or arms or lats, like you can't see anything, anything like that, everything is clean. So with his shape, if he finally nails the conditioning, and it really seems like he's going to... There is no chance of anybody beating him. Come on. Come on, you have to agree with me on that. And if you think his conditioning is good for six weeks out, and if we assume it's going to continue improving, I think it's pretty safe to say that he's going to win the Mr. Olympia. 
But I mean, of course, nobody can really predict this. Nobody can know. Who knows what Samson is going to bring, what Hardy, what Derek, what uh, Andrew or Nick Walker are going to bring. But if I had to choose one guy right now, it would be this man right here, Samson Dauda. All right, next up, we got a physique update from Hardy Japan, who arrived in the US. And I feel like we have a very interesting situation with uh, Hardy because... I think we can all agree that if Hardy wants to, you know, secure the win, or at least beating Derek Lansford, he needs to come in shredded. He needs to be Arnold Classic shredded. And this conditioning, at six weeks out, I think his conditioning was far better six weeks out of Arnold Classic. Now, this video was taken, like, immediately after he arrived in the US. Like, after the flight, he came to the gym and he trained. So, of course, he's holding some water here. But you guys also saw that previous physique update of his back recently. And his conditioning is not, like, he's not shredded already. And I don't think he's, like, ahead of time. Like, he's definitely behind compared to his previous prep where he brought his absolute best conditioning. And I would say his best overall package so far. Now, with this conditioning he has right now, can he make it and be as shredded as he was at the Arnold Classic for the Mr. Olympia? I think he absolutely can. Of course. His conditioning is not bad right now. I mean, it's worse than Derek Lansford. It's similar to Samson, maybe, maybe. Maybe Samson is more conditioned right now, actually. Check it out again. I mean, you guys tell me what you think, but basically, I think Samson is in better shape right now than Hadi. So Hadi is definitely a little bit behind. Can he make it? Can he be peeled as he was at the Arnold? Yeah, theoretically, I can see that happening. But historically, Hadi has not been bringing his craziest level of conditioning to the Mr. Olympia stage. I think he was at the beginning. I think 2021, his first Mr. Olympia, he was in really good shape. But then 2022, when he won... He wasn't that conditioned. This here is 2023, and here also, his conditioning, especially from behind, like, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't quite there. Look at the glutes, look at the hamstrings, the lower back, like, he was not as peeled as he can be. Here's the 22 Mr. Olympia, where he won. He was obviously bigger than Derek, and that's why he beat him here, but conditioning-wise, he was definitely not all the way peeled. Like, he was not as he was at the Arnold Classic this year, or like Vancouver Pro 2019, or like Mr. Olympia 2021, so even though he wasn't super conditioned, he still managed to, to do well, to, to win, because he did look really impressive, especially from the front, with that extra fullness, extra size, but now against these guys like Derek, who are gonna be ripped from behind, and now with Samson also bringing crazy conditioning, most likely, I think Hadi can't win if he's not at his Arnold Classic level of conditioning. And does he look right now like he's going to get there? I mean, six weeks is definitely enough time for him. But maybe the game plan is actually to try and come in bigger and fuller. But is that going to play out for him? I don't think so. Again, last year, before the Arnold Classic, he was basically, in my opinion, in this conditioning like a 12 weeks out. Because he never really got out of shape after the Mr. Olympia. Now, he had a longer off-season, so he did get a little bit chubby, which was expected. You know, it was an off-season. But now, six weeks, is that enough time for him to be truly, truly peeled to the bone? I don't know. Maybe we won't see that. Maybe he won't be 100%. I'm starting to have doubts slowly at this point. But things might change. Maybe like in three weeks out, we see a completely shredded version of Hadi. We'll see. As of right now, this conditioning does not match Derek Lansford's conditioning and maybe even Samson's conditioning in certain body parts. You guys tell me what do you think. All right, and lastly, we got Keon Pearson, who is also, of course, six weeks out of the 212 Mr. Olympia, where he's going to try and defend his uh, Mr. Olympia title against uh, basically Sean Clarida. Now, Sean Clarida is not really showing anything. Like five weeks ago or so, he did look crazy. But Keon had a very productive, very hard off-season. So it seems like Keon is going to be a lot better on the Mr. Olympia stage. I mean, at six weeks out, he is not, like, that conditioned to be really... Uh, for us to be able to notice all the changes, all the progress. But it's still visible. I still see, like, more fullness, more roundness, like, overall more size, more freak factor. 
So it's gonna be extremely difficult for, for Sean Clarita or anybody else really to defeat this guy, to dethrone him. I mean, is that gonna happen if Sean brings basically the same package he was bringing before when he was winning and comes in ultra conditioned, controls his midsection better? I mean, anything is possible, but at this point, Keon is looking nuts, man. Like with this freaking X frame, with this weed taper, with like uh, so much bubbly muscle and like beautiful shape, beautiful structure, it's gonna be extremely difficult to dethrone him. I feel like he's most likely gonna win again. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. And again, if you want coaching, DM me on Instagram. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and bye bye.